Welcome back. <sighs> okay, okay. Um, yeah, so thanks, Giddy, and um, whoever else. I think it was fucking. Yeah, Erda. Erda for backing me up. But I'm back now. Fuck me. Race is defined by your genetic makeup, so let's not. So let's not be but that's totally untrue. Sorry, race realist. But we've assigned races to specific biological makeups. Not that race is that. Yeah, fucking me. We've assigned races to specific um biological uh, or sorry, specific genetic traits, right? So African Americans, we've assigned the term African American to those individuals who have darker skin than us and are from the African continent. But uh, everyone hit that follow button so that you get notified when I go live after I s crash seven times. It's, uh, why am I typing? <laughs> yeah, no, I yell at Rogers too, but they only seem to cave for like a week, and then it's like back on their bullshit. It's so fucking stupid. They're like, oh, yeah, no, no, we'll fix you in the net, and then, uh, I don't know why I gave them that voice, but. And then they're like, up, oh, back on that bullshit, back on that fucking dumb shit. Yeah, exactly. So, like, there's like markers, and then we just assign those markers, those biological markers, onto a race. It's not like race is the bi like race doesn't just inherently exist in the me, and then the markers come out in that. Like that makes sense. We've assigned race to specific genetic traits, but anyone can hold those genetic traits. You can literally walk through a border entry and can come... Okay, but you building the border wall doesn't solve that problem of of border entry. So the wall would not be effective in, in that. And then we need to have... Um, I believe that we sh you should have comp comprehensive uh, immigration reform. Because your immigration system is fucked. It takes like years to get in the United States. It's so stupid. Look at that. My stream is live again. Amazing. Yeah, he said some are good people. I mean, I can go get the fucking tweet or video right now. I'm not gonna lie. Holy fuck, I had 50 viewers at the same time. That's fucking nuts. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Open, like, having a better immigration system would funnel more people to the entry points. The reason why people go to the wall is because it's so impossible to get through the entry points. Legally. Sorry, I just want to read Giddy's thing. Uh, six gig plan with Rogers called in to change something. The guy accidentally canceled my plan. It was, it was so so he couldn't bring it back. He just hung up the call. Called back and they couldn't fix it and only offered me a minor credit. Yeah, fucking idiots. I'll go find the... Yeah, I mean, we can just play right now. Dog, okay, I need a birth certificate to get into Canada. You can come in running... Yeah, you can come in running into Canada, and it would take you months to get kicked out also. But if you want to come here legally, yeah, you just need a birth certificate. That's why people come to Canada legally. You need a passport, most likely, by the way. But then you're only here on a visa, and if you overstay that visa, then again, it takes months for you to stop here. But the reason why people go through our immigration process to come to Canada is because it's vastly easier to do that than risk getting arrested for illegally crossing the border. Yeah. No, but no, but the issue is that you're 
so then you would be for immigration reform. Currently, your immigration system is so impossible to get into Canada, to get into the United States that it's easier for you to just cross the border. We have like no border wall and we don't have an immigration process. Now, uh, an immigration problem. Now, of course, we don't border Mexico, but Oh, there's so much shit he fucking... I need... Can somebody find that link? Can we get, like, a couple of people digging for this? Because he made another thing about the country is full, so turn around, blah, blah, blah. He's made a bunch of talks about the uh, caravan. And this is, like, from 2016. Um, let me just try this. Yeah, but sanctuary doesn't guarantee you're a citizen of the United States. They want citizenship. And citizenship takes a long time, and it's just generally easier to... Because if you get it to sanctuary, you have to be put into a sanctuary city, and there's a bunch of other things. Yeah, if you come on a student visa or, like, a work visa, you can literally be here for as long as it takes you to get your citizenship in Canada. I'm 100% certain. I'm 99% certain of that. Okay, yeah, but citizenship, okay, but it takes like three years, right? It could take up to like three or four years, and every six months you have to go back to your original country. Oh, I heard what he's talking about, no fee. No, but the renewal ship, the problem, yes, you can renew it in the country. The problem, and I have, I mean, this is an anecdote, but the problem is, is that um, if, if you're, if it takes longer, let's say you're, you have to go back in six months and you, and you put in a renewal and that renewal takes longer than six months. Now you have to go back to your country. And then let's say you get denied that renewal because people get denied that renewal all the time. Then you have to go back to your country and people don't want to do that. That's why they overstay their visas because it turns out that Mexico is a dangerous place right now. Oh, his stupid point on illegal immigrants crossing the border to vote. Ugh. Fuck, roll it down to 12 goddamn viewers because my stream died like seven times in a goddamn row. Fuck me in the asshole. Okay, well, sorry to break it to you, buddy, but I can give you an anecdote on somebody that I don't really like who tried to, like a YouTuber who tried to immigrate here from, like, Slovenia. She got denied for who knows what reason. She was working as an actor or something, and she was denied. Did it crash again? No, no way it crashed again. You're lying to me. Um, I fucking will find it. You have to dig through a million of her videos, but I was just doing videos. I was watching her because I wanted to see what her opinions are on politics because she did a lot of them. And um, then at that time, I uh, also was the videos about her getting thrown out of. Oh, but there's a bunch of Twitter stuff too. But I'll just link you her channel page, I guess. Cause fuck. But this chick named Barbara for you to see. She has some dumb fucking political topics and whatnot, but. Okay. But stream dying can be my fault, too. There was a good podcast on Malcolm Poor while they crossing after the Vietnam... After the Vietnam... After the Vietnam was formed, General Pe General became the head of the uh, department who heads border control within a few years. He turned into a political issue when people didn't use to care. Yeah, like... If you haven't... Like, it doesn't matter that you haven't personally met people who've got denied... We can easily just bring up our own anecdotes. A million people can bring up their own an anecdotes. It's undeniable that some people will get denied for no fucking reason. That's stupid. And, like, there's a clear problem with your immigration system. But yeah, that, that YouTube, whatever, that got, got denied, like, that was, like, fucking months ago. Can you tell me why people got denied? I have no idea. They refused to tell me. Well, not that they refuse to tell me. I'm also a Canadian citizenship, so I don't have any personal anecdotes. But people could get denied for any reason. 
your job isn't sufficient for the government or whatever blah 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 like isn't it heavily job based like what your job is could do could determine if you're a US citizen or not and a million other things I mean fucking border policy right like depending on who's your president right Trump enacted that travel ban from those countries so those people were just <laughs> completely denied their rights you can look up why they got denied on homeland website okay the conclusion that it would cost it would have cost the USA less money to have never had done anything let the border yeah you smoke marijuana doesn't affect you um I smoke marijuana but it's also legal legal here Oh, uh, it doesn't affect me. Well, it depends on how it affects different people. For me personally, I don't know that it doesn't mu that much. It kind of just mellows me out, but it kind of depends. CBD, CBD heavy marijuana doesn't seem to have a, that much of an effect on me. Um, but THC really just mellows me out. Doesn't have. I'm not like. Um, I don't get like angsty by it, or I don't have like a anxiety attack when I when I when I have it, like some people do. Um, No, I haven't tried DMT. Um, <laughs> the travel ban was an execution order Obama wrote. No, executive order, execution order. Fuck me, basically, right? Trump put in action and only excludes eight countries and the majority of, and the majority of Muslims on that planet, on this planet, don't live in them. Okay, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering too now, Giddy Dog. So even if, so Obama only made a list. Yeah, execute order. <laughs> even if he made a list. He didn't put that list into law like Trump did. And he only made that list as like a problematic list, which is still shitty. And I don't agree with that, obviously. So I don't know why you need to bring Obama into this. Regardless of what Tr Obama did, what Trump did was directly unconstitutional. So we have a quota for visas. Only a certain number of accepted. It's a hard line. I'm not sure we should have open borders, but we might make a headway in lowering the number of people who want to un uproot their lives, uh, or we or we stop bombing the shit out of the other countries in the middle of the government's affairs. Exactly. Basically, yeah. Like, I don't know what exactly we should do, but we should probably. I don't know exactly what we should do on the border, but we should probably stop meddling with other nations. Canada currently has a plan to increase our population from 35 million people to 100 and something million over the next 10 years. Okay, if Obama used it for a year, fuck Obama. Why does this, what does this have to do with Trump? <laughs> it was definitely not ruled constitutional because if that was true, it would be it would be enacted right now. Yeah, it was definitely not constitutional because it would still be a thing right now. Uh, more than two times popping like he wants or maybe by 20 yeah basically 10 years 20 30 yeah we want to like open up our borders like 100 percent. like i don't really care about them. as long as like i don't know if they can figure it out then fuck by all means okay again fuck those other presidents for invading new countries trump is still currently actually he's done like and i can be i can i can speak positively of like of what trump's done to reduce uh I, I, I don't understand this. What does this have anything to do with uh, the conversation about fucking the Muslim ban? <laughs> I mean, he might invade fucking Venezuela at the pace we're going at. Yeah, I think so, Giddy. Fuck me. That pussy fucking wow. Yeah, basically, dude. Yeah, like, no one here supports Obama, or at least I don't support Obama. Maybe people here do support Obama. 
No, no, nobody here brought up Obama. I don't know who the hell you think brought up Obama. Yeah. I brought up that it wasn't constitutional, and then you brought up the first president in 30 years to not invade a country. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, they voted it constitutional for, like, 30 days only or something like that. That's right. Because they deemed it, like, oh, it's not, like, a total ban, so, like, it's not unconstitutional. They still have religious liberties, but only for, like, these, not for these days. It's really fucking dumb. Yeah, like, we're against, the, like, nobody likes Obama. <laughs> oh, God, I've streamed for 250 hours. That's untrue, dude. <laughs> Trump, like, made it so that Christians would be put at the front of the line. So, A, majority Muslim, so it affects Muslims disproportionately. So there's that problem. But Trump also, like, spoke words about putting Christians at the front of the line to get them over here. And that they wouldn't be stopped from coming here. No, the country's ban were on the DHS. Okay, who cares about that list? I don't get it. Like, who cares about the list? Despite Trump's promise to protect them. So, yeah, Trump... Okay, so apparently Trump promised to protect Christians, but the actual bill itself didn't prioritize them. Some see Christian first bias in Trump's foreign policy. Lead terrorism, is that okay? Okay, but you shouldn't ban all people from those country, that country from coming to the United States just because some of them did bad things. Do you get it? Do you get the blanket statement Trump is making by banning those countries? He's saying that all people can't come here because some of them did bad things. I don't know, man. It was just a political play by Trump. Most of the moves are just... Guys, all of his... All of Trump... Guys, Trump is just here to trigger the left. So he doesn't actually do anything bad. Oh, fuck up, whatever. Okay, United States versus uh, Venezuela Bernat Bernal, sorry, in um in nineteen eighty two allows the president to execute exclude a uh, a people from a specific country. Entering the U.S. Let's see what. <sighs> Let's see what. Oh, Valen. Oh God, Valenzuela, not Venezuela.
Yeah, or maybe just ban the terrorist. <laughs> Basically, fuck. Uh, corporations for United States federal law, blah, blah, blah. So, United States federal law is a United States Supreme Court case that determines the Constitution of a deporting alien, aliens who might give testimony in criminal alien smuggling prosecutions. Yeah, balance law. <laughs> so you change your mind about Roe v. Wade? Well. <laughs> Upholds one value, but doesn't uphold the other. So let's see what this is. Is a case that determines the constitutionality of deporting aliens who might give testimony in criminal alien smuggling prosecutions because deporting alien witnesses might take away a testimony that would be both material and favorable to the defendant. Gives rise to a potential... Motion from the defense to dismiss the indictment under the compulsory process. I'm, this, I'm pretty sure this bill was talking about individual people, not an entire fucking group of people from a specific country. Supreme Court held that because the defendant failed to make a plausible suggestion that the deported aliens possessed any material evidence that was not merely... Um, yeah, this is talking about individual people, not an entire population of people from a specific nation. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, this has nothing to do with, like, immigration. This has everything to do with, like, the courts. So let's see what this is, I guess. Uh, where's the other fucking... Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. I just closed that entire goddamn thing. Fuck. Oh god. I just opened up Google Chrome like seven times. Hold on. Um I can't read this whole fucking thing. God damn. Born to Mexico was in Ontario of the United States District Court for the Southern District of California is equivalent to Romeo Morales in violation of for transporting one respondent, a US Mex a uh, citizen of Mexico was in died. United States District Court for the Southern District of California for transporting one Romeo Morales in violation of... So, again, is it a state law? This is the United States versus thing. The Ninth Circuit. So it looks like, again, this is a specific person. Yeah, again, we're, like, debating odds, but also this is talking about a specific person. We all agree that a government can choose a specific person is allowed here or not. Obviously, that's what like regu that's what um, immigration regulation is. But you just blanket state and blanket banning eight countries. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't give a shit about unjust laws either. Like, if I read through this entire thing and I end up disagreeing with the law, then I disagree with the law. <laughs> but I still like think like I don't know. I mean, I can't read the whole fucking thing right now, dog. This is like a a huge fucking document. Usually, Canadian documents have a have a have a have a synopsis on like what they're what the rest of the document says. So I'm hoping that this is what this is now. So the the section generally prohibits the knowing transportation of an alien illegally to the United States who last entered the country within three years prior to the date of the transportation. Respondent. Respondent was found guilty after bench trial, but his conviction was overturned by the United States Court of Appeals in the Ninth Circuit. For the Ninth Circuit, and that court held the reaction of the government in deporting two aliens other than uh, Romeo Morales, violating respondent right under the Sixth Amendment to the United States Constitution to compulsory process, as his right under the Fifth Amendment uh, to due process of law. We we granted uh, Cortario, Cortario, yeah, in order to review the Court of Appeals. Um, I don't even know. Like you said, these constitutional provisions in the case, and we now reverse. When the because the whole thing is in response is in respondent a U.S. Mexico citizen, like one guy. Thanks for the follow, buddy. I appreciate you.
All right. You know the schedule. Tune in next time. Uh, also, the schedule is hyper changeable. <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, in the case, hold on. Let me just move this over here. So, first, um, for real, next eight hours is the case study. Yeah, we're going into a case study law section. I've been here for eight hours already, but here we go. What the fuck? Okay, by the way, my stream just told me. So my stream just my OBS went from one of my OBS. Yeah, so I've been here for ten hours. Just so you know. Um. Yeah, let's just read the entire case. Let's just read through this. And I'm gonna go through the thing. Okay. Yeah, but see, uh, see what we're talking about. What are we talking about? Whatever. <laughs> are we talking about practice? Oh, the fucking Allen Iverson thing. That's a good one. I just got that. Thank you for following. But one citizenship. And don't want to believe facts. Yeah, but okay. So right here, do you see this right here? Respondent, a citizen of Mexico, was uh, indicted, indicted in the United States District Court of the Southern District of California for transporting one Romeo Morales in violation of 8 U.S.C. What the fuck? The section generally prohibits the knowing transportation of an alien, an, an, an alien illegally in the United States who last entered the country within three years prior to the date of transportation. So that's what this entire bill is about, is one person bringing a person from the United States to Mexico, or from Mexico to the United States, or two people, or whatever it ended up being. That's like the whole document. Yeah. But like the yeah the, the 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 case law the case thing whatever talks about one dude at the start right there. I mean I mean if I read through the rest of it and there's like some amendments and some other stuff, sure, and I might disagree with those specific amendments and whatnot. <laughs> no, but if that's a definition, oh my god, fuck me. Ah, here we go again. Fuck, here we go again. So if I grab the uh, document one more time, usually, now maybe this isn't how your documents work, but usually this section of the of the thing is a description of what the rest of the document's about. If that's not what's going on here. See how, like, see how this one's numbered? That one is an, a one. That's a two. That's a three. That's an A. So those are all numbered except for this one, this top one right here, which makes me believe that that's a summary. If that's not a summary of the document, then I don't know what the fuck that's doing there. Like, fuck me. Okay, so then what the fuck is that? Because it seemed to be a summary to me. It seemed to summarize what the court document was about. <laughs> I think so, Don. Holy fuck. Like, here, let me grab a... So this is how fucking Canadian documents work, which is it's unbelievably better than whatever the fuck you guys are doing. Look at this. This is how a Canadian bill works, okay? A direct summary at the start of the fucking article. God damn. Please put this into your... If that's not a summary at the, at the top of that article, you, got, you guys are doing it wrong. Because fuck me, this helps me so much because it goes on for fucking ever. But a million criminal codes act and you have to go to the community... Ah, fuck. Well, Bill C-16 is pretty short, but thank fuck for this thing, okay? This right here, this summary? God damn. What would I do without that? Okay, so then what's the bill? Uh, then what's the law? I just copied and pasted like a whole fucking thing. Okay, so then can you show me what the law is? If that's just a case summary, then why the fuck am I... Can you show me the law? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Because the law would have a summary then, right? If the law doesn't have a summary, then okay, I'm not reading the whole thing in stream right now. It's been 10 fucking hours. All right, Giddy, see you later. I'm going to be peacing out too because it's almost 1 a.m. And I have to fucking... <laughs> 
I'm gonna get through a little bit more of this and then I'm gonna get it going, okay? I appreciate all of you for following and all that. I, I love and appreciate every single one of you who hit the follow button today. I hopefully you will tune in for the uh, uh, other parts of my stream because uh, that'd be great if you can tune in for that. Even if you lurk around and sit and watch, I don't care as long as I hit affiliate. Yeah, see, good chatting with you too. I'm going to give a little bit more time to this and then I'm going to go to bed. Good night, buddy. Appreciate you. Appreciate both of you, Giddy and Erdna. Appreciate you guys. All right, take care. All right. The law is that not, that not allowing the president to do this would violate the Sixth Amendment. The Supreme Court does make law. It upholds it. The Supreme Court doesn't, I would assume it meant doesn't make law. It upholds it. Well, it, the Supreme Court really kind of defines the Constitution is what it does. Okay, so then, okay, so. You have, I, like your Constitution has religious freedom. So you banning Muslims from entering your country is against that. You have, like, freedom of movement. So not allowing people to enter your country for arbitrary reasons is against that. Oh my god, I don't understand this. So this... So... The Sixth Amendment guarantees the rights of criminal defendants, including the right to a public trial without unnecessary delay, the right to a lawyer, the right to... So how is the president... How would, how would not allowing that stop the president from having a Sixth Amendment law? Yeah, no, no, but the jo you banned Muslims from these specific countries. Well, you're not... Okay, well, here's the fucking... Here's the nice right-wing slipper doodle is that you say like oh well uh there were christians in those countries so it wasn't a muslim ban yeah but you banned travel from eight muslim majority party muslim majority countries we get the dog whistle dog yeah exactly but when somebody when there's a when there's a higher proportion of people from said country and your president literally says that they need to figure out what's going on in these countries and these are threatening zones whatever blah 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 the dog whistle is that he's banning muslims from the country because you sure as fuck know that Christians in those countries aren't causing fucking terrorist, quote-unquote terrorism strikes and blah, blah, all this other fucking shit. We know exactly why he's banning those countries and not like Saudi Arabia and shit like that. Those countries he banned were majority Muslim, dog. Oh my fucking God. I don't care where other Muslims come from. He banned, Trump banned those eight countries. It seems like it moves it the, it leans towards him banning those countries because they were majority muslim i don't know how that fucking law you cited me has like what the fuck the 6th amendment has against this i don't, i have no idea what you're talking about at this point so i'm just going to go to bed dog why did he pick those 8 i have no idea why he picked those 8 why did obama pick those 8 because they're quote let's say let's let's say i agree with you that they're quote dangerous places Putting a blanket ban on the country because of a couple people that did dangerous things is unconstitutional and totally fucked up. If you can't see that, I, you're lost, and I'm I need to go to sleep. The whole the Sixth Amendment is just that you have a right to a trial, dog. Holy fuck, dude! And the right to know who your accusers are and the nature of the changes in the evidence against you. How does the, uh, uh, how does the Sixth Amendment apply, uh, apply to anything, fucking immigration wise? Okay, let's see. Oh my fucking god! Come. The compulsory process clause of the Sixth Amendment to the United States Constitution allows defendants in a criminal case to secure witnesses in their favor through the ins in their favor through the ins uh hold on.
My eyes are bugging out. Insuance? Insurance? I don't want to say the word insurance, but I know it's not that. Insuance. Issuance. Issuance. God fucking damn it. Issuance of a court ordered. Uh. Sepalian? Sperny? This word too. Fuck me up. Subpoena. Subpoena. God damn. Those stupid fucking words. I've seen a million times. He just lost a subpoena. So, a court again, what does this have to do with immigration? What does this have to do? This, again, would be talking about, like, two people in a court, right? The United States Constitution allows defendants in a criminal case to secure witnesses in their favor through issuance of a court-ordered subpoena. What does this have to do with banning people from entering your country? Oh, my God. Keep reading. Keep... Uh, how many times do I have to keep reading this shit? Tell me to go to the clause. That's the end of the clause. The clause is generally read as allowing defendants to present their own case at trial. Through several specific limitations have been announced by the Supreme Court of the United States since the, this rule began. What about 880? I, am I playing fucking Bandersnatch now? Do you want me to just flip to each page and it spells out the words? Haha, -ha, loser? I, so, like, what's going on here? Text. In all criminal prosecutions, the uh, uh, accused shall enjoy the right to have a compulsory process of obtaining witnesses in his favor. Like, I... What do you, I don't, how, what does that have to do with immigration? Besides, like, maybe allowing somebody to come into the country to be a witness. <laughs> Fuck. Eight hundred eighty. like, I don't, <laughs> uh, is he talking about the Constitution being 880 pages? Damn. Okay, I'm going to fucking... Like, do you have anything else to say? Because I'm going to fucking bed. God damn. You've, you've, you've done it. You broke my fucking brain. Congratulations. Let me sleep now. God. Uh, no. Ant 18... What does that even fucking mean? I'm, like, gonna Google what the fuck. Court holds uh, that the government may deport illegal aliens, eyewitnesses to the respondent alleged crime immediately upon their apprehension before responding again. What does this have to do with banning all Muslims from entering your country or all, a, all people from a certain area from entering your country? That's the government's made deport illegal alien witness alien illegal eyewitnesses to respondents alleged crime immediately upon their apprehension before responding to his attorney or have the opportunity again like what is this this is not a ban this what you just cited here is not a ban on like certain people illegal aliens entering the country it's just allowing you to kick out illegal aliens from your country which would deny them their sixth amendment right but they're not citizens so that's why this is a thing what does this have to do with banning an entire nation's population from entering your country? Like, illegal alien means that they came to the United States illegally. Not that all people from Mexico are unable to immigrate to the United States. Yeah, but whatever, I don't care what the fuck the rest of 80, 880 does. What you cited 
has nothing to do with uh, not allowing an entire nation to come into your country. Like, why do you even mention this if it has absolutely nothing to do with banning an entire country from entering your nation? What the fuck are you talking about? I don't even know how to find 1880. Like, that's so dumb. Of the executive to take care of what the law is lawfully executed. I... Faithfully executed. I... Okay. I'm... Fuck. You win, buddy. You fucking win. I don't give a shit anymore. I'm going to bed. Alright. But... Even if somehow the Supreme Court agreed to Trump's travel ban, even though... Like, it would still be enacted if it was fully allowed. It's still immoral as fuck. It doesn't matter if what, like, allows it or not allows it. It's still fucking dumb as shit. And I would consider immoral. And, like, mo multiple constitutional amendments, like freedom of travel and freedom of religion, directly contradict his decision to ban these Muslim majority countries. I get that they were they found a sneaky way to get through it all because that's how law works, right? Like sure. Sure, which people have to pay 50% tax rate or whatever the fuck they have to pay, but they seem to be able to get away from that a lot of the times. I call it we haven't had a Muslim terror attack for the first time in over a year for a decade. The Muslim ban isn't enacted right now, dog. That has nothing to do with the Muslim ban. Absolutely fuck all to do with the Muslim ban. The Muslim ban was enacted in 2016. Unless, of course, for some reason, you're attaching the Muslim ban in 2016 to current year not having a terrorist attack, then you're just totally lost. Not having a Muslim uh, uh, terrorist attack, Muslim terrorist attack in a year, today. Let's just talk about 2016. Omar, Yemen, I, I don't... <laughs> Uh. Oh, wow, this thing's still going on. That's fucked up, to be honest. Okay, so it's still inactive. <laughs> Except for the fact that you're completely fucked in the head, dog. That you, you're totally fine with denying people who have done nothing wrong from entering a country because some people are fucked in the head. And you not having a terror attack for, by Muslims for over a decade does not directly correlate with the Muslim ban. You need to show me evidence of that. All right, if you're fine with... Okay, so then get rid of all fucking Christians because some of them, some of them go crazy and kill gay people. Get rid of all fucking Christians. Get, the, get them the fuck out of there. That's not a negative, dog. If you say, if you make the claim that a Muslim ban would stop terrorism in the United States, then you have to show me that it did stop that. If not, then why would you bring it up? as a point towards you. I'm not making a negative. You're making the claim that the Muslim ban directly is directly associated with not having a terror attack in over a year. Dog, 
It turns out, by the way, that Muslims are actually more accepting of gays than Christians. By the way. That, whatever you're going to bring up about gays being killed by, uh, by Muslims and Christians is kind of a non sequitur because there's different laws, right? So most people who would want gays to die in the United States can't do so because there's laws against it, whereas in those other countries, there's no laws against it. Mostly because it's a like completely detached state. Um, oh, sorry, American Muslims are more accepting of gay rights than um, American Christians. This is the... No, that's not what I saw before. There's like an actual list. There. I'm not going to get into a fucking religious debate about this right now, dog. I've already gone down that fucking road. All I know right now is that a higher percentage of Muslims are more accepting of gays than the U.S. general public. Catholics, white evangelist, white mainland, Protestant, Catholic. Muslims are more accepting. That's, like, fact. It doesn't matter what the books say, because if you listen to me before, I don't give a fuck what the Bible says and what the Quran says. It depends on what you do with those words. So, in the Bible, it is described as, as, like, immoral to be gay, or, like, it is immoral for you to be gay. And then it describes what to do with people who are immoral or blasphemous, which is to kill them. Well, because I don't really care who... Because like, there's a bunch of reasons as to why people are killing other people. So, for example, if the roles were switched and a bunch of Christians were being bombed to Fuxville and had no laws because their state is fucked, they would probably be killing more people than Muslims. If you switch the roles, it'd be true. So we're going to look at a, a, this, a people in similar situations. U.S. Muslims and U.S. general public. And it turns out that U.S. Muslims are more accepting of gay people than the U.S. general public. Fucking nuts, dude. Amazing. Or at least Protestants and, and Catholics. Or maybe just Protestants. Is it just Protestants? Well, it's definitely white evangelicals, but... Seems like it might just be Protestants. It has a bigger change, though. So the trend is constantly going up. Who claims that stat? I don't know. The, uh, who is this? The Pew Research Center? Dog, you're the one sitting over here. I bet you you... Oh, my fucking God. I need to go to sleep, dog. Yeah, right here. Look at this stat one more fucking time, my dude. U.S. General Public. Millennials. This accepted. Generation X. This accepted in 2016. Baby Boomers. This accepted. White Evangelicals. 34%. Protestants. 52%. Which seems to be on par with just any Muslim. Which any Muslim would include the radicals and non-radicals, by the way. So we're just going to look at Protestant. They're on par with acceptance. And Catholics, Catholics seem to be more accepting, apparently. I don't know what's happening, dude. I, I Trust me, I don't even understand. But, like, it doesn't even... Ah, fuck. <sighs> dude, political fact that liberals claim is the... Holy Grail of Truth has proven research group wrong. That research group. Pew Research has been proven wrong? Are you fucking insane? <laughs> or just that research. No, you said research group. Oh, jump here. Okay, well then get out of here. I'm about to go fully nuclear and go to bed. This is a Pew Research. Oh, fuck. 
This is a Pew Research poll on Pew Research poll. How do you rate? Oh, this is a okay. This is a thing about it. Least biased. Fuck, we're gonna go to Reddit, I guess. Goddamn. I'm, I can't get into it. I gotta go to sleep, dog. It's 1 a.m. I have to go to sleep. I can't get into another conversation about this. Please tune in next time and we'll have a conversation about this at 11, 11 on Wednesday, Eastern Time. Okay, just look at the look at the, the schedule. Please tune in that time. Okay. Buddy. If you don't understand... Oh my fucking God. I don't even want to explain to you like why Sharia law is like not a fucking problem. Again, it's what people define as Sharia law. If if you want to... Again, so it would depend fully on who... Like, I don't know why we're switching topics one more fucking time, but I need to go to fucking sleep, dog. So, who... Def like, it depends on who defines Sharia law. No, Sharia law does not require female genital mutilation. They could remove that from... I fucking, I don't, I don't get it. If you add, okay, if you can add ge female general mutilation to uh, United States law right now, that wouldn't make United States law, like, yeah, of course they can. You can remove any, this is the whole issue with, oh my fucking God, you're actually inept as a human fucking being. This is unfucking believable. You don't actually think that people change over time. Yeah. Sharia law is Islam, dude, but Islam can change over time the same way we don't like slavery now and religious people are more accepting of gays. When Sharia law, Sharia law changes all the fucking time. You're actually just the dumbest human being I've talked. I thought the other dude I was having a conversation with was fucking an idiot that, um, Coop, dude, but oh my, you might, you might have capped him, my dude. Well, sorry that your ignorance is, you better change now, because it's just full ignorance right now. When was the Bible, I don't, I want to kill myself. When was the Bible edited? Now, if you say the First Amendment and the Second Amendment, well, the Second Amendment doesn't directly say that the First Amendment or, well, First Amendment. When the second edition... What the fuck? Anyways. The first version of the Bible, the second version of the Bible, whatever the fuck it's called, because my brain is literally fried right now. It doesn't directly condemn the, fir the, the, first, the first Bible. So the first Bible is still valid and hasn't been changed yet. And the current Bible, the modern Bible, has a lot of reprehensible shit in it as well. So it just depends on what you define as Sharia law, and then we can have a dif discussion about that. You fuck. God damn. We can currently, right now, today, change the... Like, uh, we could change the, the, the title of United States law to Sharia law, and it wouldn't instantly become evil. Yeah, testaments. Fuck me. I bet you $100 million you haven't actually... Okay, okay, okay first, A... Even if you read a text, it doesn't matter because it, it matters on what you do with those words. The first and second are in the same book. Yeah, but then... The... Okay, so then it's true.